The 23rd arsenal of Russia's main missile and artillery directorate that was struck by Ukrainian intelligence last week, had received a large batch of anti-aircraft missiles from a base in Belarus prior to its destruction, Belarus media reported. The arsenal is located near Oktyabrsk village in Russia's Tver region and was attacked on September 21. According to the report, the 23rd arsenal received ammunition from the 1,562nd separate anti-aircraft repair and technical base located near the Belarusian city of Osipovichy. This was the largest batch of ammunition from Belarus delivered to this arsenal during 2024. According to the report, the missiles for the anti-aircraft missile complexes were delivered to the military depot by rail. The total volume of cargo was 94 semi-cars with missile weapons for air defense systems in containers, as well as five cars with security. The approximate time of dispatch of the groups of wagons is the late July and early August and the cargo was defined as explosive materials. The loading of one semi-wagon ranged between 20 and 30 tons. It should be noted that during the attack on the 23rd arsenal, the facility was almost completely destroyed. In addition to the warehouses themselves, the railway infrastructure located on the territory was also affected. Apart from the military depot in Tver, Ukrainian intelligence struck another arsenal near Tykoretsk in Russia's southern Krasnodar region that was one of the key arsenals in the logistics system of Russian troops. At the moment of the attack, there was an echelon delivering more than 2,000 tons of ammunition, including from the North Korea. Fire and explosion had taken place in the areas of both military arsenals following the attack. Satellite imagery showed that China's newest nuclear-powered attack submarine sank alongside a pier while under construction, a senior U.S. defense official said Thursday. The sinking of China's first Zhoukla submarine represents a setback for Beijing as it continues to build out the world's largest navy. Beijing has become increasingly assertive in pursuing its claim to virtually the entire South China Sea, which is crucial to international trade. Meanwhile, China faces long-time territorial disputes involving others in the region including Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. The United States has sought to strengthen ties to its allies in the region and regularly sails through those waters in operations it says maintains the freedom of navigation for vessels there, angering Beijing. The submarine likely sank between May and June, when satellite images showed cranes that would be necessary to lift it off the bottom of the river, said the official, who spoke on condition of anonymity to provide details about the submarine loss. China has been building up its naval fleet at a breakneck pace, and the US considers China's rise one of its main future security concerns. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said Friday he was not familiar with the topic and did not provide any information when asked about it at a Beijing press conference. The US official said it was not surprising that China's navy would conceal it. The submarine's current status is unknown. The identification of the sunken nuclear submarine was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Thomas Sugart, a former U.S. Navy submariner and an analyst at the Center for a New American Security, first noticed the incident involving the submarine in July, though it wasn't publicly known at the time that it involved the new Zhou-class vessel. Satellite images from Planet Labs PBC analyzed by the Associated Press show what appears to be a submarine docked at the Shuangliu shipyard on the Yangtze River before the incident. An image taken June 15 appears to show the submarine either fully or partially submerged just under the river's surface, with rescue equipment and cranes surrounding it. Booms surround it to prevent any oil or other leaks from the vessel. A satellite image taken August 25th shows a submarine back at the same dock as the submerged vessel. It's not clear if it was the same one. It remains unclear if the affected submarine had been loaded with nuclear fuel or if its reactor was operating at the time of the incident. However, there has been no reported release of radiation in the area in the time since. 
China as of last year operated six nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, six nuclear-powered attack submarines and 48 diesel-powered attack submarines, according to a U.S. military report. News of the submarine sinking comes as China this week conducted a rare launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile into international waters in the Pacific Ocean. Experts say it marked the first time Beijing had conducted such a test since 1980.